Well, we're wrapping up our course on cryptocurrency. I thought we'd just do a quick review over what we covered within this course. We went over blockchain, cryptocurrency, and NFTs. And as you saw, blockchain really is the core behind both cryptocurrency and NFTs. We talked about how it's been around for a long time and what the reason why blockchain was even thought up of to begin with. A lot of blockchain really relies heavily on hashing algorithms to create unique fingerprints of the data. And from there, we can create a chain of blocks to maintain integrity with the information. This also allows us to have distributed blockchain. And distributed blockchain allows us to have a non-centralized or decentralized source of information and making sure that things still remain accurate. And this can be used in many different applications to include cryptocurrency. So then we got into cryptocurrency. We talked about what fiat currency is and some of the issues with fiat currency and how cryptocurrency attempts to overcome some of those issues of fiat currency. We also talked about how it uses blockchain and specifically distributed blockchain to have a decentralized form of money. But since it's based off of technology, there are some issues. There's times when things get off when it comes to distributed blockchain. And so we develop things like hard forks, or there are a lot of other alternative coins that come in that try to compensate for these some of these technical issues. But really, there is still quite a few problems when it comes to cryptocurrency. And there's a tight correlation between cryptocurrency and non-fungible tokens or NFTs. We talked about what non-fungible tokens are and compared them to what fungible means, fungible versus non-fungible. Then we get into how blockchain records different transactions. So it records the sales of these different NFTs. So blockchain is a great way for us to record transactions. And because we can have distributed blockchain, we can have things like cryptocurrency and track transactions for things like NFTs.